But for now, how about we just get through Thursday first? Yeah, okay, I like we'll blue, see. blue and yellow sound? sunshine, right? <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, once we mix out of this white, Marcus, which is the clouds that are hanging on overhead. We're seeing it on satellite and radar. This prominent low pressure system sitting right over the Bay Area through the central coast. So it's bringing us those cool and cloudy conditions this morning. And the wind gusts, which we will also feel today. We've just been getting used to this wind as the week has gone on. But I think as this low pressure system starts to make its way out of the Bay, area. It's going to bring those winds out of the south a little bit less compared to what we've been dealing with over the last couple of days. But for your lunchtime hour, it's going to be breezy out there. To so hang on to all those napkins, your forks and stuff. And as we go on through the afternoon, be careful for those winds around 30 mile an hour winds as we make our way through the Altamont Pass into the Central Valley. I think for tomorrow, those winds should start to die down and we're getting ready for the weekend. So let's take a look at our daytime highs for today. We're sticking with cool 60s out at the coast, mid to upper 60s. 60s along the East Bay shoreline with some low 70s as we make our way through Fairfield and Concord at 73 and 71 in Morgan Hill. By tomorrow, we're going to see the winds die down. The temperatures go up just a little bit and we're going to inch closer to those temperatures rising as we go on into the weekend. Take a look at San Francisco. The San Francisco Pride Parade looks great for our Sunday and we're looking at some warming ahead for the middle of the week and our inland valleys will stay in those low 70s through about Sunday where we'll start to warm up nicely by the middle of the week. We could see some 80s return to the board, but right now we're looking at clear conditions out there, yeah, right?